guys 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 so much pokemon 25th anniversary news today it's been absolutely popping off my phone hasn't stopped so uh, i'm gonna try and cover everything best that i can so without further ado let's dive in So to get things started, the Pokemon Company has launched its 25th anniversary website. Here's a quick little glimpse. Katy Perry will be working with the Pokemon Company for the 25th anniversary, which is a bit crazy. Bit of a random collaboration there, but awesome to see. And there is a video, so um, let's check it out. I'm loving this already. All of the old game cartridges there as well as we travel into the Johto region. And there it is, the shiny VMAX Charizard from Shining Fates, the first official reveal. As Pikachu takes the little cable car into the Sinnoh region, so Diamond and Pearl remakes confirmed! No, I'm not joking. <laughs> Here we are now in Unova. So a lovely little tour of all of the previous Pokemon games. Here we are at the Pokeball Factory in Kalos. Pokemon Go as well, Team Mystic all the way, let me know what team you are guys. And here we are today, Corviknight Taxi, I'm going to need that plush if that's uh, if that's available to purchase. Little Detective Pikachu there, and of course, Katy Perry and Pokemon teaming up. Epic, epic. There we go guys. And now Poke Beach have just posted that jumbo cards of all the starter Pokemon will be available for the 25th anniversary. Guys, what I'm seeing here, I'll have them pop up on the screen. It looks absolutely epic. Each jumbo card will use its original card template, but with a 25th anniversary logo in the corner of the artwork. The first six cards from the Wizards of the Coast era no longer show a copyright acknowledging the company. So that's interesting. This is the first time we're seeing the digital images from that era. So guys, I'll have them pop up on the screen, but this is absolutely Epic. Each generation will get a first partner pack containing three jumbo cards of that generation's starter Pokemon and two regular booster packs. Each pack will retail for around $9.99 and release at stores, hobby shops, and on the Pokemon Center website. You'll be able to store the jumbo cards in a first partner's collector's binder. It will release on February 6th for $9.99 again. It will come with a jumbo Pikachu card pictured in the images that you see on screen. So this is going to make them far more collectible for me. If I've got a nice little binder that I can have them in, I'm going to I'm going to need them all. Absolutely, I'm going to need them all. But guys, let me know your thoughts down below. It's looking awesome. But guys, before we end the video today, it just wouldn't feel right if I didn't try to pull a chonky chew from this astonishing vault tackle pack in the last video. I pulled a dang Charizard. Look at that. Awesome, awesome card. But maybe we can just go one better today. Get the chonk. And I will be a very happy boy. But um, they're just fun packs to open. I enjoy every single pack. It's lovely seeing all of these Japanese cards. As I don't get to open them very often. We've got an owl cream. I haven't really got my lighting set up. Let me give me two seconds. Let's just knock the light over. Uh, amateur hour. Let's try that. That looks a little bit better. Sorry, guys. So we've got a our creamy, our creamy. I'm not sure how you say. It. We've got the beautiful Charmander. I absolutely love that illustration. We've got a Trubbish. We've got the Whelmer, and the final card is a beautiful, beautiful Vaporeon. Not quite what we're looking for, but guys, you want your Pokemon cards at bed? So go to TotalCards.net and use AgileFox at checkout to save your money and support him. Make sure you check out this video here. It's going to highlight my top 10 pulls of 2020. I'd love to share them with you. I'm Agile Fox. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon.